Yo guys, what's up? It's Matter of the M360X Mods. Today I have a tutorial, and what we're basically going to be doing is adding a really nice color correction to this picture. And um, this color correction is kind of similar to a darker, intenser color correction for trailers, more like. But I mean, you can experiment and make your own, and I'll just be color like basically covering all the basics of color correction. So, um, some things that you're going to need is Magic Bolt Looks. Magic Bolt Looks is an external plugin for Sony Base or After Effects. Um, no matter what you're using, it's the exact same. The layout is the exact same because all it is is you open it up and it has an edit button and it has its own, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Interface, I guess you would say. So, whether it's in After Effects or Vegas, you just want to find your magic bolt looks and this does cost money and there is a way to get it for free and I'm sure if you search in magic bullets free you can get it for free and that's all I'm saying so I'm sorry I can't help you so if you do this in After Effects of course it'll look the exact same but it's looking like this in Vegas so you just want to hit this edit button and okay that's a fail let's just try it again if this fails, I will be mad. Okay, it's not gonna fail for me. If I had to redo this tutorial, I'd get really mad. Anyway, uh, if you see it, we have these two tools in Looks. Now, Looks has a nice selection of these basic things that are already made, but they kind of suck. And I call them nice because they're kind of convenient if you like need something for a horror film or something, but we're not going to be using those. So if we come over here to our tools and go over to post, this is where we're going to start off. Now you should see all these, but we want to use lift gamma grain. <laughs> so just drag that on there. I'm sorry I snorted. So for our first dot, you want to drag it over to this dark blue side about here. And for this second gamma, you want to drag the blue down here pretty far. And for here, you want to drag it up to orange. And you already can see we start to get that really cool effect. And you can go, you know, all out. But we just want it about there. And don't press OK because that will close the looks builder. So you have a bunch of camera tools. And we're not going to be using these camera tools. So we're going to move over to the lens. Now we have a vignette. So we just we're just going to drag that vignette on there and it makes it dark wherever that vignette is. So we want to make the radius to just kind of come out of the edges. So the edges are just like that. And that's pretty much all you have to do. Again, you can experiment with strength and all the other tools. So the next thing we want to experiment with is edge softness, which is a really nice tool. It blurs the edges. So what we want to do is um, if we go over here to radius and just increase this radius, I like it not too much, usually on the edges, like that, and I like the blur to be about 3.5-ish, we'll go 3.6 though. So if we move over to matte, I guess it's French or whatever, we should see this diffusion, so just drag that on there, and that just adds kind of a lightness contrast thing to the middle. Again, experiment with it, I don't really experiment with this one because it's fine how it looks. Now if we go over to subject, um, we just want to mess with curves. And color curves, everyone knows what that is. You want to make the basic RGB curve, which looks like this, and I'll just make it a bit darker. And just hit OK. And um, to save a preset in Magic Bullet Looks, you just want to hit this, let's just call this Tutorial Preset. And we're just going to hit the save button. Or in After Effects, you hit save sl save animation preset as, I think. Uh, I have After Effects, but I'm not into it right now, so I wouldn't know. Anyway, um, I have a couple of things I have. But the other one, I have most of my presets in After Effects. I have a nice blue one. But this is a really cool color correction. Um, yeah. 
So, subscribe, rate, and comment, and I am going to be posting more tutorials today because I didn't have a lot of free time on my hands, and I promise these, tutor these tutorials are a bit late, so I apologize for that. And again, subscribe, rate, and comment. Goodbye.